Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Wednesday, June 3rd. Well, a lot of downside price rejection today and uh, quite a bearish day and uh, little wonder if we look at uh, the character of the candles over the last few days. Uh, this candle here was uh, one of those uh, spinning top um, doji type candles with the long shadows, uh, long shadow on the top. Uh, then another fairly small bodied candle with a shadow and today another shadow and the market trading a long way down from the high uh, down near the low of the day which means that the bears have taken control of this market very very bearish day now it's also uh, what we call a bearish engulfing pattern we have this first time frame uptrend and the body of the current candle completely engulfs the body of the previous candle so that's a, um, a bearish engulfing um, candle and uh, a reversal pattern now the market might find support here at the uh, at the tank and scene. there is a possibility of that the only thing is that the market looks too bearish uh, the, the bears have a lot of control of this market and a, they've shown a lot of commitment with such a large red bodied candle so a lot of um, um, net um, bearishness in the market for today so remember what we said when the uh, Kumo is flat, the Kumo will tend to be a, uh, an attractor of price action and very strong possibility that we could end up trading down here to the Kumo. No guarantees of that, but we need to be aware that we could. So the low of the current candle becomes very important for this market. There's a small area of support on the way down, roughly about 9.45 if it holds up through there. But we have the uh, Kijin Sen um, coinciding with the level of the flat Kumo as well. So basically we've got a market that's uh, that has a lot of disequilibrium at the moment. Now, little wonder that we're sold off here. The market started to trade up around, you know, it was a fair way from the $1,000 level, which is a round number, but, um, you know, it obviously had its influence and uh, sold off from around that number. And uh, we quite often see price rejection within zones and obviously this $1,000 zone, which is a big number for gold, has caused this, this sell-off. So if we see any, any bullishness coming to this market, there could be a chance that the, um, the we will have a new first time frame uptrend, but um, just too bearish a, a candle at the moment. If we look at the character of the candle compared to any of the red candles in this previous strong second time frame uptrend, the body of that candle is so much larger than any of the bodies of these previous candles. So you need to be aware of just how bearish this market is at the moment. Mm -hmm.